Okay guys, so welcome to day one of the 410 low back pain program. We're gonna start laying on your back with a single knee to chest for 20 to 30 seconds. And then we'll switch legs. We're gonna hit both legs here. Um, by keeping the other leg straight on the floor, you're gonna get more of a hip flexor stretch. Um, I'm also doing a little movement, just kinda trying to promote relaxation. Um, and just trying to get a better stretch during that movement. So on to the next movement, we're going to do a lower trunk rotation. So lying down on your back with both knees bent up, uh, knees together, feet pretty close together. You're just going to allow the knees to go side to side with a slight pause at the end just to kind of get that stretch through the lower back and kind of get the hips moving here in this movement. So again, slow and controlled each direction. We're gonna go four times each way, and then we'll go back to the single knee to chest. So work on your breathing, um, try to relax as you go through this movement. And then as you see here, as I'm back up into the single knee to chest, I'm getting some ankle movement. Um, I, and feel free to take your leg up or down. Um, if it's bothering your back with your leg straight, bend your knee up just to take a little pressure off of your lower back as you can see what I'm doing here. So again, 20 to 30 seconds, leg can be bent up or it can be straight on the floor. Just again, work on your breathing and kind of relax through this motion. So we're gonna get back into the lower trunk rotation, again, side to side, four repetitions each way, and just a slight hold at the end. Good job. Okay, now I'm gonna show you from a different view here. Again, single knee to chest. We're gonna go each leg one more time, 20 to 30 seconds. Again, getting a little movement through the foot and ankle, just trying to relax, pulling, pulling the knee up to the chest to get a little lumbar flexion and a stretch on the opposite hip flexor. Make sure you're not holding your breath, focus on your breathing, in through your nose, out through the mouth, try to relax as best as you can. And then here we are into the last set of our lower trunk rotations. And you're gonna see here, I am lifting my feet up and maintaining my knees bent at about 90 degrees. This is going to be a progression from what we were just doing. So if you feel like that first movement was a little easier, you can progress into this movement to get a little more stretch and a little more movement through that lower back. Again, slow and controlled. Okay, so on to the next movement, we're gonna be doing some bridges. Two or three sets of 12 repetitions here. And try to keep your knees from caving in together, kind of try to keep your hip, foot, ankle, and your knee all in a straight line. As you go up, try to squeeze through your glutes. Try to squeeze and hold at the top for just two to three seconds. This is gonna get those gluteal muscles going. And then here, this next movement that we're supersetting the bridges with is a double knee to chest. So just pulling both knees up, kind of hugging your knees to your chest, rock back and forth a little bit find something, find a little movement that, that makes this stretch feel a little more comfortable to you. And again, not holding your breath and just trying to breathe and relax and um, try to get a good stretch through the lower back. So a side view from the bridge. Here I'm putting my arms up. We're just gonna maybe engage the core a little bit here. Again, I'm going up a little quicker and maybe having a slight pause at the top trying to focus on squeezing my glutes and then lowering down a little slower. So that's gonna get you the maximal benefits and the strength gains to your gluteal muscles. So again, here we are back to the double knee to chest. Again, doing a little rocking back and forth just to get a little more relaxation. Work on your breathing and just, just relax. Okay, so last set of bridges here, same thing. Hands up to the sky, just to engage the core a little bit more. 
And as you're doing these bridges, kind of feel like you're pushing down kind of through your heels. That's going to help you activate your gluteal muscles a little better and just get, get the most bang for your buck. Okay, on to the next one. It'll be in side lying. So imagine like you're laying up against a wall, your back, your shoulders, your butt, and then your feet and ankle. If you were laying up against the wall, all of those body parts would be kind of up against the wall. So uh, feet together, knees together, uh, your hands out in front of you, kind of in a T position, if you will, starting position there. And then you're gonna just open the chest up towards the ceiling and lift your top arm up and over trying to open your chest and get some rotation through the spine. We'll do five repetitions each side. Five repetitions, back to the other side for our last set of five. Here you'll see a, a progression. So again, if the last movement was easy, you can progress to this position, straighten your lower leg, uh, keep your right leg, in this case, over the top as you rotate. And for another kind of progression, you can use your other hand to help pull that knee down towards the floor so your leg and hip doesn't want to kind of rotate with your upper body. So the next movement will be on all fours, hands and knees. We're going to be doing some cat and cow, arching the back up towards the ceiling and then arching the back kind of down towards the floor. I want you to appreciate the movement of the pelvis in this exercise. Your pelvis will rotate forwards and backwards. So when your pelvis rotates forwards, you're going to arch your back kind of down towards the floor. And then as you rotate your pelvis backwards, that's going to be the position when you rotate and round your back up towards the ceiling into the, the angry cat position. From the cat and cow exercise, we're gonna sit back into child's pose. So sitting back onto your heels, we're gonna do two sets of 30 seconds, holding this position with the arms up overhead. Back up to all fours, we're gonna go back through the cat and cow exercise. Again, focus on the pelvis mobility here, the forwards and backward rotation of the pelvis. And now back to the child's pose for one last set. And in this 20 to 30 second position, you can see that I am crossing one hand over my other hand to kind of target uh, one side more than the other. So I go both directions for three to five seconds and then back to the middle. Again, just work on your breathing here. Try to relax, really sink down into your hips and towards your feet. Okay guys, so up onto your feet for this last movement of day one. So we're just gonna go forwards, backwards, side to side, just some general flexibility. Um, I want you to see how you feel each direction, see which way feels best, which one is more uncomfortable. We're gonna repeat this days two, three, and four, and you're just gonna compare how you feel in the subsequent days to day one. So again, just see how you feel and kind of keep a mental track of that. And then we'll reassess this movement at the at the end of the following day. So good job with day one, guys.
Okay guys, so day one of the 410 low back pain program is in the books. We were just over the 10 minute mark, so good job with that. Um, join us for day two. We're gonna get up on our feet, do some hip extension, some lumbar extension, and some core strengthening, hip strengthening. Like and join us on Facebook at High Caliber Health, a private Facebook group. And then be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, High Caliber Health, so you don't miss out. Thanks for joining. We'll see you on day two of the 410 low back pain program.